proposed committee, we talked about this, and I mentioned at the board meeting. There has been some environmental issues. One is at Rogers Park uh, because of some of the illnesses that have taken place there. And um, uh, good evening. Uh, yes, we actually had uh, uh, what is called a TO13 test, which specifically tests for PAHs, right, which is a form of carcinogen. Uh, we tested in four areas at Rogers Park. Uh, none of the areas that were detected as a, uh, any carcinogens. Uh, we also had a follow-up meeting today with the teachers, and I invited uh, the Connecticut State Department of Public Health. Uh, two officials came, uh, Kenny Foscu, who's actually the Tools for Schools guru, and his counterpart, Meg Harvey. And uh, based on the information I gave them related to the illnesses and what they saw, there was no red flags as far as uh, environmental issues that would, you know, contribute to the Ill illnesses that were that were mentioned. The past 10 years, um, they they reported that there was 32 teachers that had uh, various forms of cancer. Um, 15 out of the 32 of them were either breast, brain, or prostate cancer. Okay. Uh, we also test for radon in five years. Uh, okay. We tested for radon at Rogers Park in 2007. So we're doing the test for that again uh, this coming year. And mold certainly wouldn't have any or the causality relationship to cancer. Mold, mold wouldn't cause cancer. It really is fixed because we have to place blood orders that have been there. How you been? Uh, leak, roof leak issues at Rogers Park in the past. Uh, so we've, we've replaced all the ceiling tiles that we noticed water damage to eliminate any chance of mold. And going forward, we're, look, you know, we're looking out for any new leaks that might occur so we can stay on top of that and have the city fix that promptly.